very exciting reason. We've had Fred and Ginger, Robin and Lisa, and now it's time for Robin and James. All the greats have been in the studio. Let's get it. Sue. Lisa Riley was just amazing. We had great chemistry. We got on so well. 
And that's what made it an even better experience. Yes, there was some hype around how good she was because of her size and everything, but we've become best of friends. And the same with Anita Dobson and Patsy Kenzer. I, I have good relationships with all of them. Um, my teaching method is always fun, happy, can. Yeah. And in a way, they learn that realising they're working. Yeah. So I make it a fun experience. So as long as I've got somebody that's like that, I'm very happy. You moved to London when you were 15 mm -hmm. to pursue dancing. Yes. Um, has that been the only thing you've ever wanted to do with your life? Or is it the kind of city I have to be in London to make this dream a reality? I started dancing when I was three years old. My parents took me down to the local dance studio in Ipswich, where I'm from. And um, I just had this immediate reaction to the music, and I just loved to move to music. And to this day, I just love to move to music. Yes, I do it in a much more technical way than I did when I was younger. Um, but I started to do well in competitions when I was about 12, 13 years old, and I thought to myself, you know what? I'd like to get out of Ipswich. I'd like to see what the rest of the world has to offer. And my first stop on that leg has got to be London because that's where all the dancers go to train to better their, um, better their technique and to get better in the competition. So eventually I represented England um, at World Championships, which was probably one of the highlights of my dancing career. And um, it got so expensive for me that I was living on my own, like I just couldn't afford to do it. And I had to, at 19 years old, I actually had to make that horrible decision and say, I have to stop. Even if it's just for a little while, I have to stop. And uh, six months later, Bernard Ford came up, and the rest is kind of history. Yeah, cool. Um, I've got some quick fire questions for you. So, I'm going to say them really, really quickly. First thing that comes into your head, let it happen. Okay. Okay, so. Favourite colour? Blue. Favourite style of dance? Latin. Who would win in a fight, you or Craig or Ford? Me. Nice. Did you know on eBay you can buy key rings and say Mrs. Robin Winter? I have one. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see what they look like, so I wanted one. I was going to say, there's 25 days left on this one. <laughs> this, this, I think it's like 325 free PP as well. Um, you actually got one. I got one. I wanted to see what they looked like, so I was, I was just flicking through eBay actually buying like, bits and bobs. And I just typed in my name because I just wanted to see what came up. There's all the stuff that most people sign for yeah. autographs and things they sell on eBay. And I saw this key ring and I was like, I want to see what they look like. So I got one. Exciting. And your least favourite flavour for crisps? Pickled onion. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Fly. Um, which strictly professional would you love to do a cheeky private sample with? Hola. What's your guilty pleasure? Chocolate. Favourite band? Spice Girls. Ooh, <laughs> what three things could you not live without? My iPhone, my dog, and my partner. Have you ever had a wardrobe malfunction on stage? Me. Crappy. Favourite type of fish? Many kind. I don't fish. Fish? Yeah. Uh, fish. Cod. So, to test Robin's flexibility of dance, uh, I have come up with a very creative experiment entitled The Very Technical and Scientific Flexibility Test, aka How Slutty Is Your Slut Drop? So, I kind of know how this is going to go. Oh dear. You knew this was so difficult. <laughs> Nice. 
Yeah!
biography of Sir Bruce Forsyth. Do you know what? Do you have this? I don't know, but I have Craig's and Bruno's and Lynn's. Well, I don't have Bruce's actually, that's brilliant. Cracking. Fabulous. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.